everyone and welcome to August and um, before I start I just want to say thank you very much to all the new subscribers and um, all the lovely people who have commented and liked videos and shared them. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. This is quite a new thing for me to be doing so it's quite small um, at the moment so I really appreciated that extra boost to begin with. So, um, And I know that some of you are hoping to get readings so I'm going to do the draw to get do the free readings thing to see who wins um, in just a minute. Uh, but I just want to say I might not be doing this again immediately, but I am thinking of doing it quite regularly. So we'll see when I get around to doing it again. But um, thank you so much for taking part and please keep commenting and liking and, and um, participating because it all helps and it just keeps that nice flow of reciprocity going, you know, give and take, which is really, really lovely with these things. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to just go straight into this now and just let you know that I had a look at the videos and if you weren't expecting or hoping for reading, you can go past this bit. So the sign that, did, uh, that gave the most likes was Virgo and the sign that gave the most comments was Libra. So I've picked, I uh, had a look under the videos and there was only one person who asked for a reading under the Virgo uh, video and that's Tara Mills. So there's, you know, it's just you Tara and you've won a reading. So contact me please using, uh, you can use the link under the video and then go to my website and use the contacts page there. And um, so we've got Libras. I've picked the names of the people who asked for readings from Libra. And I'm going to just pick one of those. You can see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, Spirit, you guide me. Okay, here. Right. So we've got, I knew it was going to be that one. That's right. It's Sawenika Reed. Okay, so Sawenika, can you please get in touch with me and. Um, we'll um, sort out a, t uh, a reading, just get some questions from you, that's all you need to do is to just contact me, let me know it's you and uh, I'll get some questions from you and record your reading for you and it will be posted up on the channel soon. Okay, so um, welcome to August everyone. Uh, July was a very interesting month, <laughs> as they all are at the moment. I hope you enjoy your reading, I'm going to get straight to it now. Thanks for watching, bye. Hello lovely Aquarians and this is your reading for August and um, yes so for you this is going to be in your seventh house so uh, the sun is going to be in Leo which is going to be shining on all matters concerning partnerships and uh, that can be business partnerships it can be relationships and close intimate one-to-one -one connections so you're going to be looking at those, you're going to be analysing them, are they the right ones, am I happy, are they suitable, um, are they moving forward, are they dynamic and satisfying and um, am I happy. So you're going to be um, asked when we get to the eclipse to look at that in a new light, to look at um, renewing those uh, those bonds and connections. For some it will be a question of new uh, partnerships coming into your lives. Um, they could be intimate partnerships, they could be business partnerships and you being asked to embrace new ways of connecting one-to-one. -one. So that's going to be a big shift for you and that's what you're going to be need, needing to ask yourself. If I'm not happy with the partnerships around me, what is my vision of an ideal partnership? What is it that I would really, really like to manifest at this time? Okay, so let's just um, shuffle the cards and see uh, what else. What does Aquarius need to know about partnerships, about relationships, or just generally about the energies of August? What does Aquarius need to know? Okay, and I've just heard um, stop and smell the roses. So for some people, for some Aquarians who are connected and in relationships, 
that they're happy in but that you know there's been a little bit of a lull it could be that you need to take some time off it could be that you've been overworking and that you need to take some time off to just go out for a walk in the park with your partner or just go out you know go and see a movie or go out and just just be together just spend time together and um, give the relationship time just as you give your work time give the relationship time and love and respect as a separate being as a separate thing that needs to be nurtured and cared for in order to grow and to keep growing and to keep evolving and moving forward rather, rather than just sort of slumping into the same old routines of, of doing the same thing just do something different do something you don't usually do but do it together so that's just for some of you some I know will be single and some are not looking but let's just see what we've got so we've got past present future advice and outcome Okay, so past, where are you now? Angel of communication. So communicate clearly. Don't be afraid to tell it like it is. So for some of you, for some Aquarians, you've had to recently um, be very clear with someone or, um, you know, maybe a group of people, like some kind of a partnership, some kind of a situation, it could be a work situation, you've had to be very clear about where you stand, okay, about a few things that have not been satisfactory. And, you know, it hasn't necessarily been easy for you because, you know, people assume that you can be very cold and clear cut, but you do actually feel things and, and have some nervous tendencies. Um, you know, you can, you can take things in and take things on, even when people aren't aware of it. So, you know, you've, you've had to communicate and be very clear with someone or with a situation or about a situation um, in order to try to shift things and, and evolve things along a little bit. Um, and that's where you are now. So hopefully that will free you up a little bit um, in terms of being able to enjoy the fruits of that clear con uh, communication. So where are you right now? God of conflict resolution. You can see a kind of a theme here. So you are being encouraged to walk away from a, a current conflict. So it could be in work, it could be in a partnership, it could be in any kind of agreement because partnerships can also mean agreements or situations. You can have a partnership with your job, you can have a partnership with your home, you can have a partnership with your family. So whatever it is, you are being encouraged to walk away from conflict. So in other words, you know, turn, turning the other cheek doesn't necessarily mean you turn it to get another slap. <laughs> It can mean that you turn the other cheek and look the other way and walk in the other direction, the opposite direction. So don't get involved. Don't let it stress you out. And if you are involved up to your neck, as some of you might be, then make sure that you don't take it home with you if it's a work thing. And that if it's at home, make sure you get to spend enough time away from it to get clarity, to get clear, to be in your own energy, to ask yourself, is this really happening with the connection or is it something in me that I need to heal? What's really going on here? Sometimes people are just sort of too much on top of a situation or too much on top of each other to see things clearly. So move away from conf conflict, um, not only in your mind and in your heart and in your life, but also with physically. So get yourself to another place, another room, another building, go for a walk in the park, remove yourself long enough to get clarity. I feel for some of you there may have been a little bit of an impact on your health and you need to just, you know, <sighs> detach, move away, don't get involved, go to your happy place, listen to some music, do a little meditation, come back and la la la, you know, live to deal with it another day. So I'm sorry to see that for some of you, that there is a, a little bit of conflict. Let's, where are we moving into? Angel of joyfulness. So things are working themselves out in August, okay? August, September, October feels like a pivotal time of shift. And 
If you're being asked to look for the new, then what you're being asked to look for is more people around you who bring joy into your life, people who have fun, people who are a bit more relaxed and easygoing. Maybe for some it will be looking for another job situation where you can feel as if you're in partnership with the people you work with rather than in conflict. Maybe for some it will be, you know, just a new, a new way of partnering with yourself and coming back to feeling that sense of your own inner joy, your own inner connection with yourself and with what you really love. And with peace, inner peace, harmony and balance, all of those things that people don't understand are really important for Aquarians because they can come across as being just, you know, able to deal with whatever, whatever comes up. You need to feel at home within yourself, okay? And then you can come back to feeling happy. Okay. So advice, angel of guidance, a wondrous uh, sense, a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. A renewed sense of purpose and direction, that's great. So for those of you who are experiencing conflict or difficulties in work, you are being given an opportunity here to look at that very differently as well. I know this is about um, relationships and partnerships, but there's something here that is also saying it's self-partnering is very important and that if you're not happy or you're stuck in a situation that just doesn't serve your highest good anymore or the real vision for your life, it's time for you to get clear within yourself about why you came here, who you really are, what you really want to be doing and be your own best friend and guide yourself out of difficult situations into something that's much more um, dreamy, <laughs> is what I just heard, much more dreamlike because you have your dreams. You don't always talk about them, but you have them, okay? So, outcome. Angel of emergence, that couldn't be more perfect. The real you is waiting to emerge. So it actually says it's time for the real you to emerge. And you know, Aquarius, that's what all of this is leading to. Whatever the conflict is, whether it's been, or for some it will have been, it's past whether it's in your home, whether it's in your um, emotional life, whether it's in your work life, it's all leading you to this place where you will finally trust the truer vision of your life and start to allow the real you to emerge. So you need to dust off those dreams and reimagine your life and just to come back to um, being true to who you really are. And I have to say I have no sense of how long this reading was because my timer that I put on, it just keeps, I'm not getting on with the technology very well. So I'm just going to let these readings run as long or as short as they are and I'm just going to finish. I'm going to give you an, a guardian angel card and where are we going angels? We're going here, right here to purple and to this one. Oh, I can't believe it. Okay dreams. Okay, so it says, this is a wondrous time of healing and positive transformation. Embrace life each moment and keep focused on your dreams. Retain the purity of your vision and you will draw success to you. All you ever wished for, even those uh, plans which seemed a distant dream, are about to manifest. Right, Aquarius, super important time for you. And I'm going to say to you that this solar eclipse is going to be about you manifesting your dreams. So if there are partnerships in your life that don't support those dreams, you need to be focusing on partnerships that will. I'm not talking about intimate ones, but talk, I'm talking about, you know, where do you need to focus? What partnerships do you need to be forging, partnerships and alliances do you need to be forging, creating, building on that will, you know, if there's someone reaching out to you saying, oh, let's try this or let's get together and, and, and work this out or, you know, let's do this, let's build this, let's build that, let's, I wonder if we could start a business doing this or let's get together and have a jam or let's, you know, whatever it is, Start accepting the hand that's reaching out to pull you into the right direction because, you know, this direction thing plus the fact that your August is about 
partnerships seems to be suggesting that that's what you need to do. Have a fantastic August Aquarius and um, I hope that's given you everything that I meant to give you. If you want to do uh, some uh, visualising check out the manifesting meditation on my channel. I might remember to link it to this video and I'll speak to you again in September. Have a great month. Bye.